Hey guys, DJ, Joe Master of Sworn Gamers Guild. Another battle report we filmed today, uh, this time with Dave, with, with your West Germans. Uh, you'll probably see this battle board, we're calling this Colorado. Is that, isn't that where Red Dawn took place? Yeah. So this is Colorado over here. Uh, today we're playing uh, Fighting with Draw. I am the Defender, Dave's the Americans, or the, uh, the Attackers. I'm running uh, my based on my digital storm force that I have put together. So I have one major formation and two support units. So I have one command Abram upgrade to an IP, a gr one platoon of two and two of three, all IPs. Uh, one full size uh, Bradley A2 mechanized platoon. Uh, it has three dragons instead of the fourth. And then to finish the formation off, I have one. 113 scout and then for support I have a single FO with a battery of two LRMS's it comes up to 105 it's a very small list so there's very little thinking uh, it's pretty fun to play uh, Dave what do you got here it's a little bit different than usual uh, yeah I decided um, I like that the West Germans you could go with infantry so I went with uh, part of my German the Geiber Jager company that whole thing, uh, well, folks, is full of infantry yeah, right now. Well, th this one here is just what you see here is what you get. Yeah. Uh, so it is, uh, of course, the command. And then I went with the f uh, four groups of five, uh, I'll say machine guns, and one Milan. Okay. Okay, so these over here. Nice. And then uh, just to fill it out, I put some Lukes on it. So that is one formation for 23 points. Wow, nice. This one over here is the Panzer Grand Grenadier Company. I decided to go with the big boys uh, this mm. time. Nice. So I have the M2 uh, Martyrs okay. with the 35s and the one command team. So that's two points. Uh, I should say that's five points. Okay. Uh, mandatory. So this one here is not a 35, but I upgraded it to 35. Okay. And uh, of course, I went with the big boys, the two a two a fives here mm. for 34 points. Nice. Uh, of course, Luke's. Uh, you got to protect them with some uh, Gepharts and my barrels. Pardon them. They I can't never survive with them. Pewter barrels are so rough, man. And then of course, with those are. Uh, Flieger, Fliegergeist, uh, okay. terrible with German. Uh, some mortars, or I'll say Panzer Morsers, Jag ones, and then uh, in support I have Lars and I have Tornadoes. So it's, nice. It's a total of 105. So it should be a decent game here. Okay. Uh, just a heads up, I have no aircraft, and I have no AA <laughs> except for what's on my Abrams. Uh -huh. So your air should be okay. Fun fact, folks at home, at this time frame in the world, the Americans had the 4 dot deuce mortar, and the Germans, all Europeans, had the 120mm mortar, which we eventually adopted. I just like throwing it out there because the mortar on the European ones is, they have it rated higher. Anti-tank 3, uh, firepower 3, just, you know, just something odd to throw out there. Uh, so, deployment is fairly simple. Uh, we'll get into that. I'm on this side, I chose... So I have basically halfway up the table. And then Dave's deployment zone is this tiny strip along the back edge. He placed two objectives, one here, the other one here. And then I placed minefields basically blocking off almost all access through the city. I figured I'd probably be the easiest egress way in. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, he has a ranged in marker here. You have another one at this building. I have mine here. And I have one unit ambush. I start with everybody on the board, which is surprising for me because I'm not used to that. Um, okay, we're going to go on to set up. The attacker has turn one. And we'll be back with West German turn one after we do set up. Okay, just to let you know, I'm doing after the turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'm just going to go with our setup. Oh, you've got them guys in the, the building there, brother. Okay. Oh, so, um... My meager forces, I have my Bradley's in ambush. FO in the corner of the field, hammerhead here. 
Uh, like I said, minefields are blocking access through the city. I have a group of two and my commander here, three uh, rockets there, and the other group of three right there of Abrams. And then there's a giant wall of German steel <laughs> across there. <laughs> uh, what do you all do you like? Where do you want to start at, Dave? Like, oh, you we'll start left to right here. We have, okay. of course, the Geppert's here. Nice. I'll say, since you have no air. Uh, they're going to go after whatever they can soft do, which is uh, the 113s. Yep. Of course, I have my Lars here, but uh, we're going to try to hit some Abrams uh, okay. since we're ranged in. I have all my, I'll say Bradley's, but they're Mortar M2s here. Okay. Of course, going after the soft stuff. Yep. And uh, did a little bit of spearhead because you can't see here. Yep. Uh, the rest of the guys. We're trying to get uh, some toe, toe shots here. Okay. Uh, the uh, the Panzer Morser, Morser mortars are over yeah. here. Really can't do anything with that ranged in. Of course, we have the two big guys over here. Yes. Uh, we're going to try to take some pot shots over there. Yeah. Uh, we have the Jaguar 1s. They'll also try to take a shot at some stuff there. And okay. we'll see if we get the planes in. But... As usual, uh, I might get planes in once a game. That's about it. Uh, it might be all you need because I have, like I said, the only AA I have is the anti-aircraft machine guns on my Abrams. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to go on to West Germans turn one. We will be back. The planes are what? Four. All right, so that was a pretty brutal German West, or, uh, West German turn. Uh, so D Dave basically moved his Gepards up, his Mortar 2s up. Uh, moved uh, your five twos up. Uh, shoot sting, you bailed out my FO, knocked out and drove away the other hammerhead, his little group. Knocked out one Abram here, or no, one Abram here, one Abram in the trees, and that's really it. Oh, your did, air did get the planes in, but of course they uh, they whiffed. They whiffed. That's the part I kind of wish they would update for aircraft for Team Yankee, where Flames War, the number of aircraft don't discourage away from hitting. In Team Yankee, if you have two aircraft, because it's two weapons firing a salvo or a, uh, artillery, you have three roll hits, which really, to me, sucks. All right, uh, going on to American turn one. Uh, let's see what I can do, if anything. So American turn one, I spurred my ambush uh, a little further back than I think Dave was expecting. Fired toes, only knocked out uh, one Lars. I was hoping for a little more even though I hit three, they made their saves. That's the weird part about armored saves. Sometimes that five sucks, but there's times where like you blatantly would be disintegrated, you save. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, these Abrams, <coughs> excuse me guys, uh, knocked out two and bailed two of the martyrs. I probably should have targeted the Gepards, but I want to push, push his infantry back. Uh, my commander stayed in place to range in. Fired a salvo. Uh, fortunately, because he's not an FO, you have to go off the lowest skill, which is still the guns themselves, which is a four. And I ranged him in the second attempt. So I hit and pinned infantry, hit a bunch of stuff, but failed to do any damage. Uh, these guys over here, they were just out of range. So they fired the, the Jags, missed guys in the trees oh i'm gonna shoot and scoot they're gonna they fire two shots knocked out a jag and to, sh to scoot um before i go what is their skill four they do you got it let's see if they cross check they both do so they're gonna reverse back okay behind the trees and that'll be the end of my american turn one all right guys we're gonna go on to west german turn two All right, Dave, go over what you did, buddy. Okay, uh, we brought the planes in again. Uh, once again, they they had four hits, but uh, because there are two units, they missed everything. Or no, excuse me, they bailed one of the Bradleys. Yeah. Uh, I, sh I should say, uh, let's see, we'll start with all the movements and everything yeah. there. Uh, the Gepharts, they moved up. Uh, they took their shots, they unloaded, uh, bailed some of the... Bradley's and then detonated the rest of them. Yeah, killed uh, this guy here. Uh, the 50 mil he shot uh, destroyed the other two. So he just has infantry. Yep. HQ backed up. 
Uh, this unit moved up so the lawn couldn't shoot. Same with this unit here. Yep. All, all the loops moved up just to hide positioning. Yeah. Uh, this little formation moved up, nothing. This one here, they took a shot. Uh, yeah. They missed over here. I used one uh, Jaguar, one missed. But uh, big guys, uh, they were one for four. And, yeah. Uh, they got their firepower, knocked out DJ's uh, HQ. Well, it was the, the HQ of that unit. Like, okay, HQ. My right. formation HQ is still alive. Um, also, fun fact, folks. Remember, not everything has heat. And for some reason, I thought they had heat for the other guy. which It didn't matter, but this guy's armor went to 20, which I still rolled a 1. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then because of not having an FO, you weren't able to fire your... My Lars. Your Lars again. All right, I got some unpinnings to do. A leadership to do. Uh, we'll see what happens. This is also turn. This is turn what? Two. Two. I have to figure out my yeah. my leaving yeah, counters. Yeah, your withdrawal. All right, we will be back. Okay, so I had to withdraw a unit. I neglected. I uh, I elected to withdraw my infantry. They're kind of useless at this point. Abrams moved up, engaged. Only, I've been rolling horrible for firepower today. So I killed one, bailed one, uh, Gephard. This guy shot and scooted, uh, knocked out one Jagger. He moved. Our commander stayed still. Repeat bombarded. Uh, pinned yep. the infantry and knocked down our Lars. Uh, them guys just moved up in the tree line, fired long range. Needing fours and only hit one uh, mortar track. That's pretty much it. Uh, I think the only thing kind of keep me in this, I gotta answer that, keep me in this is the minefields are stopping the infantry from coming to me too much. Well, uh, we'll be back after this. All right, so uh, Dave's pushing very aggressively into the city. Uh, lied again about the plane, the plane came in, but uh, once again, uh, can't hit a thing. He just wants to waste air <laughs> Somehow. Uh, let's see, we'll go from the, the screen right. Uh, let's see, the Gepharts, uh, they can't do anything, so they just kind of strategically moved. I moved up the Lukes, held yep. everything here. The Lars ranged in. Uh, Self-ranged in on these guys. But uh, they didn't do anything nope. there. Uh, took a shot with the Milan, but you bounced it. Yep. Uh, let's see, these guys just strategically moved. Took four shots here at the Abrams. I uh, uh, bailed one out. Bailed one. Um, so now, going on to this, is what turn four Americans? Uh, yeah. Turn four. I have a leadership, bail win, and maybe another leadership, and then I have to calculate. Uh, you shouldn't have to because you're at five. Yeah. And I'll just get a token, yeah. which means next, next turn. turn. All right. Let's see if I can thin some more units out. Uh, we'll be back. All right, so we did some stuff. Uh, not much. I gained a, a counter this turn, so you didn't have to run. I tried ranging in over here on all simple tree, moving up. Failed to. Uh, I did shoot and scoot, though. They moved backwards out of the tree line. This guy here, he fired, knocked out one of the loops. He, and oh, I forgot to fire him, too late. This guy's here, they split fire, knocked out a Luke. Fired over here to get parts, missed. Um... I'm just kind of stave off the attack because we're going in, in the turn five. Uh, most I can do is kind of hold the objectives until the infantry come. And I'm just trying to knock units out. Hopefully the Lukes both run, which will be kind of good for me. Uh, we're going on to West German turn five. Uh, we'll be back. Okay, the plane uh, came in again. I uh, went in the wrong spot. Uh, I forgot I moved the Luke over here, so I could not uh, do my uh, salvo. These guys just kind of positioned up a little bit. The Lars ranged in, but did nothing. Took a Milan, did nothing. Took a Milan, did nothing. Yeah. Repeat, took a Milan, did nothing. <laughs> then one of... Uh... Leo, Leo 2A5s, they hit and blew up yeah. the Abrams. Uh, the, the singular Abram got him, knocked him out. And then one Luke ran away. The Gepard got back in. Uh, the other one passes morale. Uh, we're going on to bottom of turn five. 
Uh, because of this lost unit, I had another counter. Yeah, so, so you balance now. Yeah, I balance again. All right, let's see what I can do. It's, not all, it's still looking pretty rough. But you'll take a counter. Yeah, but I won't. I won't have a unit withdraw it, luckily. Yeah, but you got less than six <laughs> units left. Yeah. All right, we'll be back. Instead of All right, the so the struggle's real right now, boys. So did right. some maneuvering and staying I still uh, over here. His guy split them. fire. He knocked out the other locks, luckily. He four. fired, knocked out the other mortar right. two. Infantry fell out of it. Commander lit the building up with machine gun fire because I didn't fire AA at the strike aircraft. I actually killed the Milan out with my 50 cal. These guys, one stayed still, the commander, that unit, one moved around. He fired two main gun rounds at this building with infantry, did nothing. But this guy actually managed to range in on the troops in the open and in the building, pinning both of them, which is kind of good for right now. And this is going to be going on to turn six, uh, West Germans. Yep, we got to get next. Uh, and I, since I lost another unit, I gained another token. So I'm back to six again. Uh, if I don't lose another unit, one's going to be withdrawn off the board. So, all right, guys, we're going on to turn six, West Germans. Somehow the dice cards have rolled in my favor. Um, Dave, Dave's pushing hard. Go ahead, walk us through your turn, brother. You're doing a lot of savagery. Uh, let's see. We moved the Gephardt. Uh, plane did not come in this time. Uh, the Gepharts came, figured uh, 11 attack, uh, 10 on the side, had, uh, what was that, 12 shots. He made all the good. Uh, nothing else here. I moved everything here so I could not shoot the lawns. I took four shots here, uh, hit twice. Uh, he saved one in the R1. I could not make firepower. He was possible bail and he rolled a one. So that could have been big because. That's my commander. Yeah, I'm getting in over there. So uh, that's my turn, but I'm okay. coming in on uh, objectives. So. Yeah, and, and unfortunately for me, I am losing. I will be losing a unit. So we're going to have to figure out what my count is. Uh, and we'll be back. This is the bottom of turn six, six. American. So I had to lose a unit. I lost my rockets. Uh, we're going crazy. I tried blitzing, which kind of hurt me. He turned, fired, missed. I need sixes because I blitzed. I was trying to move him to get a better angle to shoot, to get more shots. Uh, with those two firing, I killed two bases. Over here, these guys moved over ten. We're able to get shots down this alleyway. And I dropped, what, five bases? Uh, you dropped. Uh, two here, two here, and let's see, two, three, four, four bases over here. Yeah, four bases there, pinning them, and I th think I might be a leadership. Yeah. Uh, but I had to expose myself. I tried angling my ter my armor the best against his big guys. Uh, Dave's moving in. This is going on to turn seven. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I think he's going to end up winning this, or we're going to have a draw. His planes do come in, so we'll see what happens no. later. Well, like Gepard, I think Shulkas are five too they're for five firepower. Or six. Or uh, AT, they're five or six. Oh yeah, yeah. I was doing firepower. It's six for the. Yeah, but Gepards are eleven and yeah. have basically the same shot. I should have killed them when I had a chance way earlier. So Dave, go ahead, walk us what you th what you've done so far. Okay, let's see. We advanced the infantry up in the building here. We uh, moved over here. Brought up the uh, Leo 2s. I dashed with these guys, ran with these, uh, stayed put. Moved up the Gepharts a little bit, uh, but uh, we took our uh, 12 shots. Uh, we did have a chance for a bail. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, I am contesting over here. The one Gepharts within four inches. Uh, both of these infantry are within four. I did bail. Um, Those two guys there? Those two there, so uh, it is up to DJ. So I have to get back in. If not, come next turn, he will win. Uh, I think it's going to be a draw coming to this turn. This is what, turn seven? Yeah. yeah turn bottom, seven. bottom of turn seven. seven. Americans, uh, let's get some people back in and add some tokens. We'll be back. All right, so shooting. Uh, fortunately, this guy missed shooting at him. Uh, he turned, shot, missed both these guys. 
combined fire from these three killed all but one unit there uh so i'm contesting stuff it's going on to turn eight uh for uh this this mission all right so going on to dave's turn eight uh west germans well it's over guys down to the wire uh so what, what, your Gep Arts, Dave? Uh, the Gep Arts, uh, they just stayed there. They unloaded. Uh, they double belled the one Abrams, but he made his morale. Uh, the Martyr 2 can't do anything. Uh, I did not decide to move these guys yep. out. Uh, I forgot to take a um, uh, Milan shot there. But we came over here. We passed uh, morale for them. Which is good. They he, passed, but they were passed, still pinned. But still pinned. I had moved my the big guys over. Uh, they hit two shots from the side, uh, yep. destroyed. So uh, hence, game's over. Because you because you ended with you started with these guys within four, and the ends within four. Correct. There's nothing I can do about it. Very good game, actually. Uh, this little fun force I put together did way better than I thought it would do. Yeah, I should have been a little bit more aggressive going the buildings here, but. Uh, the buildings are kind of weird because they're treated like transports, so you can't jump from building to building like we used to do, we thought. So you have to exit the building and then next turn jump into the building. Well, I was hoping uh, I stayed back trying to shoot the Milans when I should have been coming here just do skill checks to get across. Yeah. Uh, I think my biggest mistake was not killing the Gepports when I had to turn when they were over here stationed. Uh, I should have just forgot the Mortar 2s and killed them with the Bradleys. Um, what was yeah. really, honestly, I think my minefield has probably helped me the most. Yeah, I, I couldn't just run up. You had to enter buildings and go through buildings to get around them. And a, a fun fact, you can actually mine buildings, which I should have done. I should have placed the minefield in such a way that it clips the, underneath the building, which I don't think the whole building would be mined, but... Yeah, well, this one there. here, yeah, could have uh, mined that one. Be what part of the room yeah. and building that yeah. actually touching that one there but uh this was your weaker side here yeah uh but i didn't i had all my heavy stuff over here mm -hmm. uh how the minefields were i was gonna have to go back but you had some nice yeah. rooms over there so i was just a little hesitant uh getting that way uh the bombardment uh, i was able to unpin yeah so that definitely uh and with my commander here mm -hmm. i was able to uh make saves and uh, make morale skills uh the bad part is like as much as i like to maneuver and like attack stuff i wasn't able to uh like as much as i like to do with these bigger units uh if anything else too i probably could have put my infantry dug them into a building at least that one or even this one with the minefields around them and then use the bradleys by themselves instead of keeping them together because the idea was to keep the bradleys together because what ends up happening is you kill the infantry off, the Bradleys go away. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, that was a really good game. That was really good, Dave. Yeah, I have to come up with a gimmick uh, to, to counter uh, Samurai Jack back there. <laughs> yes, Samurai Gray. Everyone has a name. We're, well, Dave still needs one, and so does Jeremy. Jeremy and uh, Greg are about to get a game in. Uh, all right, guys, if you like what we're doing, leave a like, comment below. Uh, until next time, this is... Uh, the Guild Master with Westmoreland Gamers Guild. Uh, we'll see you. Okay, see you.